What's up you guys, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turn this 3D printed Benchy into this ultra smooth part without using any sandpaper whatsoever. This smoothing can be accomplished with household items and it's super easy for anyone to do. Let me show you how. So to begin, you need to start with the right type of 3D printer filament. This type of smoothing process only works for ABS filament, so if you're looking to use this on PLA, unfortunately, it is not going to work. However, I've recently switched all my builds over to ABS because of how effective this method is and how much time it saves me. I purchased some well-rated ABS off Amazon and we'll have a link in the description below for you to purchase it as well. Once I got the filament loaded into the printer, I downloaded a simple Benchy model off Thingiverse and printed it on my Ender 3 S1. As you can see here, I don't have any sort of enclosure or anything like that, and I didn't have any issues with warping, smell, or stringing. If you're interested in what printer settings I used, I can do a video on that in the future, just let me know in the comments below. Once the print was done, I took it off the print bed and started to remove the supports. I used nippers to get into all the crevices of the model, and after a bit of time, it left me with this overall pretty clean Benchy. You can still see some layer lines, even though I printed this at 0.12 millimeters. But not to worry, all of these layer lines will be removed using the process that I'm going to show you. And that process is acetone smoothing. I'm going to make an acetone vapor bath that allows you to smooth ABS prints in minimal time without ever laying a finger on them. To begin, you are going to need a plastic container. I'm using this big storage container because it's what I had available. You are going to start by making three marks near the bottom on each side of the container. Once you have those locations marked, take a 1 4 inch drill bit and drill some holes out. Now get three pieces of 1 4 inch threaded rod that cover the width of the container and slide them through the holes. Use washers and nuts to secure the three threaded rods into place. Once that's done, you'll end up with something that kind of looks like this. I purchased some PC fans to ensure consistent airflow throughout the container. These are optional, but I think it provides a faster and more even finish on the final part. I marked some spots on top of the storage lid to put the fans and then drilled out some holes. I used some M3 30mm screws and nuts to attach the fans to the lid. I also got a USB adapter so I could easily plug the fans into the wall socket by using a USB charging block. After that, I added an aluminum baking sheet for my parts to sit on. You can pretty much use any sort of metal sheet you want, but this was the cheapest option for me. As you can see, there is about a half an inch to one inch of space between the bottom of the container and the aluminum pan. You can now pour in your acetone. One thing I don't show here that you're going to want to do is lay a piece of paper towel on the bottom of the container. This absorbs the acetone and prevents it from evaporating too quickly. I also placed paper towels on the sides of the container to ensure the acetone vapor is coming in contact with the part from every direction. I took a spray bottle filled with acetone to dampen the paper towels on the sides of the container. This is important to achieve consistently even smoothing throughout the entire part. We can then place our Benchy into the container, put on the lid, and plug in the fans. Depending on how much acetone you put in and the temperature of your environment, the smoothing process can take anywhere from a few minutes to a whole half hour. You want to remove the part as soon as it gets shiny and the layer lines are no longer visible. After about 10 minutes in the bath, this is what the part looks like. It has such a cool glossy finish and depending on what filament colors you use, you don't even have to do any more post-processing or painting. Thank you for watching and stay classy.